Looking to improve your dribbling and ball control? Today, I have one of my favorite dribbling drills to help you out, along with eight moves you can use to challenge yourself. If you're ready, let's jump in. Begin by setting up five cones in a zigzag pattern, four to five yards apart. Each exercise will use the same layout with different moves. For exercise one, we will weave in and out of the cones using the inside and outside of both feet, staying as tight to the cones as possible. Keep the ball close to your feet and your eyes up so you can see the field. Next, we will be using our left foot only. If your left foot is your weak foot, start slowly and work your way up to full speed. Chop the ball in and out, maintaining good balance and coordination. Switch to your right foot now. Just as before, aim for quality ball control and keep the ball close with every touch. For the fourth variation, you roll over the ball with the sole of your foot as you work around the cones. As you travel past the cone, use the inside of your foot to touch the ball forward, then roll quickly in the other direction. Get as many rollovers as you can between the cones. For this exercise, you're going to dribble forward, then use the outside of your foot to touch the ball on the inside of the cone as you run around the outside of the cone. Make sure to measure the weight of your touch so it doesn't get away from you, but it also allows you to move into space quickly. Next up, dribble to the cone and pull the ball back with the sole of your foot, then take it with the laces of your opposite foot. Explode with your first step to change direction as you turn. Similar to the last move, now you'll do an L turn by pulling the ball back behind your plant foot, then changing direction quickly. Perform the move with both feet as you work back and forth. For the eighth exercise, dribble towards the cone with your laces, then roll over the ball and cut it back in the other direction. Keep using that roll cut back and forth as you work through the zigzag pattern.
As a bonus, I've included one more exercise. For this one, you're gonna work on shielding and spinning away from pressure. Dribble towards a cone, then step in front of the ball with one leg, then use the sole of the other foot to pull the ball away from the cone. Practice spinning in both directions using your body to shield and to protect the ball as you go. So I hope you enjoyed one of my favorite dribbling drills. Try to practice as often as possible, adding new moves so you can challenge yourself. Be creative and be consistent. For more weekly workouts and training tips, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.